Hi, I'm Phil from TurboMini.com. Welcome to another video. As always, grab a brew. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Hi, welcome back to part two of the 12G295 cylinder head overhaul. So this is the head you listened in the last video. Uh, the work we've carried out so far is, as I explained, we've been putting hardened exhaust inserts into the exhaust seats. So they've been fitted, uh, also fitted the bronze guides, they were actually fitted first and reamed to size and then you could centre uh, the exhaust inserts via the valve guides. So that's all been carried out. So the next operation will be to cut the valve seats. So these are the hardened exhaust inserts as you can see here. They've been, the head was machined out to make a recess and then the hardened seat was uh, pressed in so that's been done on all four exhaust valves and they're flush with the chamber and uh, there's obviously no seat angle on there in a minute so we'll be cutting that on and then we can install the valves. These are the original valves that were installed uh, on these heads so that's a 25.5 mil exhaust and a 30.93 millimeter inlet. Uh, these are absolutely knackered so they want it changing anyway but we will be going up valve sizes like I say to improve the flow on it. Uh, these valves in these sizes provided the seats in the head are good obviously uh, these particular types of valves are fine for basic road use uh, but for anything performance uh, you have a high revving or a boosted engine you want to be running the, the stainless race valves which is what we'll be putting in. So what we've got here is one of the larger inlet valves that we've been putting in. These are what turned from one piece stainless uh, nitride to improve wear as you can see there it's wasted so it's narrowed there to improve the airflow. The profile on the back of the valve head is designed to improve airflow. So a much better overall shape. That's actually a 33mm inlet we'll be putting in instead of the 30.93mm. So quite a bit larger there. And then to balance it out we've got a exhaust valve. Same type, same material. Again wasted there. Slightly wider seat for the exhaust to dissipate the heat better. Uh, and that's a 27mm exhaust. So that should boost flow on the exhaust there. Hopefully you can see here what I was explaining in the first video. So this is the inlet seat. Uh, the inlet seat is, in, is very, very narrow and it just falls straight away down into the port throat. So if you put a stock size valve into that and recut the seat, the valve starts to sink into the throat and you can't get any angles on that because there just isn't the material there. So what the bigger valve here will allow us to do is because we're going up a, va up a valve size, uh, it'll actually allow us to multi-angle that seat and actually get a proper profile into the port throat there so it should improve airflow uh, by quite a decent amount. Right, so I've just cut three of the four inlet valve seats and I've left the last one for the for the minute because I'm going to flow bench test that on a stock seat and then I'm going to cut the seat and put the new valve in and test it again so I can uh, get a comparison. But also I've left it like this so we can see the difference between the seats. So if we have a look at this one here, this is still obviously a stock seat. So it's just a simple 45 degree seat there. Really narrow, absolutely no radius into the throat or no radius out into the uh, chamber there. This is the new seat that we've cut. So there's a 60 degree bottom cut there, which goes into the throat. I will be blending that in slightly, but for the minute, there's a 60 degree angle there. And then there's a the 45 degree seat, and then there's a slight a 30 degree top cut into the chamber there so a nice radius compared to uh, just a single 45 degree narrow seat there with absolutely no radius on it at all so this uh, putting the bigger valve in has allowed me to uh, cut these angles on because it obviously give, give me uh, some material to work with there so what I'll do now is I'll uh, stick the standard valve back in that one uh, and I'll flow bench it and then I'll cut that last seat and uh, put the new valve in and then test it and then we'll see what difference it makes. Right, so that was the flow bench test with the uh, standard valve in there. So we're gonna take that out and we're then gonna recut this seat and we're gonna put this nice new race valve in and then test it again. Right, so that's the final valve seat cut. 
you can see the bottom cut, the seat and the slight top cut. So I'm going to pop the valve in and we'll go and floor test it. Saw some worthwhile gains there from simply putting the bigger valve in and cutting the seat. We haven't touched the ports, we haven't put, touched the chambers. If I pop the graph up here, you can see the standard line and the modified line. Uh, decent gain in airflow across the entire lift range, so leagues ahead of what it was before. Uh, we could, if we have a look at the valves here, we could actually probably gain a bit more by deshrouding the, the valve because we've gone up a valve size. It's obviously still in the stock chamber. We could cut the chamber back a bit here and then same for the exhaust probably gain a bit more but for the work we've done that's a pretty decent gain uh, the ports are a bit on the large side on the 12G295 head so even with this valve size in there's no real need to enlarge the port especially on anything road going small bar no need at all really the only thing you could do is take some of the guide boss away uh, but that would have to be done before the guides are put in uh, so you could take the guide boss away and you could deshard the valve and you could gain a little bit more but for the work of just cutting the seats and putting those valves in uh, that's a substantial gain right across the entire lift curve there so uh, yeah well worthwhile so this is the head finished it's all skimmed now valves all installed double valve springs Vton stem seals uh, it's been in the in the wash tank so it's all completely clean blown out so that's ready to send back to the customer and then they can uh, paint it up and away they go. So another job done.